Welcome to another SafeShares podcast, actually a SafeShares improvement podcast again. After we fixed basically Qt WebKit to be fast again, and I already also announced a little, quite a little bit fix for GStreamer and buffering problems with YouTube and other channels. Um, now I'm about to improve the camera performance on the Xperia X. And there's a little trick to the Xperia X with Selfish S on it um, when it comes to the camera, camera experience and camera performance. You'll notice that most of the shots are blurry or unsharp and even if you use tap to focus, mostly this tap to focus will produce unsharp results because mostly 90% of the time you will not get the thing in focus that you want to have in focus. And I have improved this with an easy trick, just disabling continuous focusing. And this is so easy that I want to share this trick with you because it's yeah, pretty much... If you know a little bit about terminals and how to edit files, you can of course do this yourself. The only downside of this is that the camera, as you can see here, is then not focusing automatically anymore. But you have to half press the shutter button here to actually refocus or you have to tap on the screen to gain focus on a specific area as you can see here on my face oops ah, these are part, um, a few test shots that i did earlier today and yeah i want to show you exactly the before and after and then you can judge for yourself if this is worth trying out on your system because yeah it's editing system files configuration files for the camera itself so it might be for a few of us and not for all and hopefully Yola is listening to this as well my findings that I had with the Xperia X uh, Selfish S version and perhaps improve the camera application to at least allow disabling the continuous autofocus system, which will then improve the overall camera experience. So let's start with the default uh, first, and I will show you how the default focusing system works and how tap to focus will be, yeah, most of the time, not produce the results that you want. So let's start with this example here with the default camera app you can see I have my usual my usual items here that you can see on the table and as you can see here autofocus is turned on if I tries to refocus on my hand as you can see here and yeah with this I can then create easily a shot by tapping off one of the items here if I zoom in, you can see that this item, just like the R2D2 here, isn't in focus. And the same goes for when I take a shot of this little car here. Uh, maybe it is in focus, yes, now. But um, usually Let's go for this big, for example. You can see the focus confirmation. And now it's not in focus, as you can see here. Let's click on this green thingy here. Take the shot. And it's not in focus, as you can see here. The background is in focus. <laughs> Nicely, as you can see, Arte Dito is in focus. So, uh, this is the before, basically. Um, having items shown as in focus. But they aren't. Let's take a shot of my monitor and the terminal window there and see if this is in focus. Let's zoom in. Oh, it managed to get a shot in focus, but as you can see here, eh, it's slightly 
slightly out of focus. Let's try to focus on the Windows logo here. And as you can see here, out of focus. More dramatically, you can see the issue with the focusing when I try to focus on this keyboard. Ah, now it worked. Let's go back. As you can see here, clearly out of focus a little bit. Let's take three shots on the power button, yes, for, for example now. And as you can see here, clearly out of focus. So now to actually what you have to do, you have to log in uh, to your smartphone via SSH. And then uh, when you are on your smartphone via SSH, you can just simply enter this command to edit this configuration file. And if you edit this configuration file, you will see that there are different focus modes in here. And as you can see here, I've commented out those two focus modes continuous, which are responsible for yeah, continuous autofocus in the camera app. And if you comment them out with the uh, with the hash sign, you can uh, then just simply save the file, search for the Q, uh, for the MMQ camera process, as you can see here from the user camera. This is this one, and then there's simply just to be sure that these new settings are applied. Kill this, as you can see here. It will spawn a new process with a different ID, so these, uh, this will ensure that the new settings are applied. And then you can simply start experimenting without outer focus, only with tap to focus or half press shutter focus. Now let's take a look at the after video. So after I've done the modifications, uh, you can see that it is not autofocusing anymore. I have to half press the shutter now to refocus. And of course I can take the shot. And as you can see here, everything nice. The auto detail is in focus, which is nice. Also, if I now use tap to focus, for example, on auto detail, you can see that R2D2 is nicely in focus. Very, very nice. The next thing is focusing on the car. As you can see here, nicely in focus. Next thing is focusing on the pig. And the pig is nicely in focus, as you can see here. Focusing on this green thingy here. Nicely in focus. Focusing on my laptop screen, the terminal window. And as you can see here, nicely in focus. You can even read what I typed in right now. And now the ultimate test, focusing on something uh, like a Windows logo. Even that is possible now with this new setting, as you can see here. Nicely in focus, this Windows logo. Not unsharp anymore. Nicely in focus, of course, overexposed a little bit because it's a dark area. But as you can see here, it works pretty fine. So I have possibly over 90% better images with disabling continuous autofocus. And of course, I have the option if I have, for example, landscape here and I want to re refocus, I can just half press the shutter 
and it start with, starts with focusing just like you would expect it to be. So this is, I think, a pretty much a pretty damn good improvement overall. A first step in improving the quality of the Xperia X and how to get sharp images. And now with the focusing, autofocusing disabled by default, you can see I can half press the shutter, shutter, have a sharp keyboard. And of course tap to focusing is also working. Tap on the keyboard, you can see I have a, a very sharp keyboard here. Nothing in comparison to the images before. And the same also goes for the power button. If I focus on the power button, you can see dramatically improved performance. Really, really sharp, as you can see here. And yeah, I hope this makes it clear that autofocusing for the camera system is not very good. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you like it, subscribe and uh, until the next time. Bye.